Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is Square One for SketchUp for iPad, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're gonna to talk about the Circle Tool. So we're working our way through the initial, the, the fundamental drawing tools, and next one up, circles. Let's talk about how to draw circles. Okay, so circles, is one of the default tools. So on the default toolbar here, uh, it's right about in the middle. And if, if for whatever reason you end up taking it off or anything like that, you can always find it by hitting the dot, dot, dot. It'll be over here if it's not on the main toolbar. It is in this case on the main toolbar. I have it selected and I have the flyout here. Uh, the options in the flyout, I do have options for increasing or decreasing sides. And then I have inference locking for red, green, blue, and magenta axes. At the bottom then I have the learn button, a little mortar board. That'll pop up a little video that walks through the basic steps of how to use the tool. We're going to hop in now and look at everything we need to know about using it, starting with input using the pencil. So of course with pencil I have two options. We'll start with just draw. Turn on just draw and then I'm in my circle mode. I'm going to, I'm going to actually on each of these lock to an inference. So I'm going to go ahead and with my just draw circle I'm going to lock to the red axis. Now Inputting with just draw mode is pretty simple. I'm going to put my, my mouse on the screen or my, my pencil on the screen. I'm going to drag where I initially touch down is the center and where I drag out to sets the radius and release. That's all there is to it. Uh, I can change the radius here. So it comes up. Maybe I want this to be, it says 611. Maybe I want this to be six foot even. So I put six foot enter and now my axis is exactly six feet. Uh, let's go ahead and change to click, move, click. And let's draw one on the green axis. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hard press, drag out, and hard press a second time. First click, first hard press is the center, second hard press is the radius. And again, option to set an exact radius if I want to there. All right, let's get rid of the pencil. Throw it away. No, don't throw it away. You, it's good, you want to hold on to it. But let's say you don't have it and you want to draw with your finger. I'm going to go ahead and draw one on the blue axis. In this case, I'm going to kind of hard press right there, hard press right there. And then again, same thing. If I want to click, I could change and put an exact dimension there. All right. So if I was to come in and use my mouse, you guys won't believe this, but it functions pretty much exactly the same. I'm going to click. My first click is the center. As I drag my mouse out, second click, is the radius and I have a new circle. If I don't have one of these uh, inference locks on, as I move over surfaces, you'll see that it will jump to match that surface, that plane. So if I draw on this red circle, it's gonna draw a red circle. If I draw on this green circle, same thing, blue circle here. If I'm just buzzing around, you see how it looks blue because it's snapping to the ground plane. All right, so one of the things I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my pencil. I'm going to switch back to just draw mode. It's my preferred method of input. When I first enter circle mode and I come over here to start drawing, back up there. Actually, you know, I'm going to do some click move click mode because I need to practice it. All right, so let's go back into circle. When you first bring it up, you get this pop up that says number of sides. So in here, you can actually, before you start drawing, type in exactly how many sides you want. So maybe I want exactly 12. I'm going to draw less sides. And now when I draw my circle, it's going to show up with 12 sides. You can see it's a little jagged. Right after drawing, if I come over and start tapping these icons right here, I can increase or decrease the number of sides. So if I start tapping minus, you see that it's going to go down all the way to the point that it gets to three sides, which is the minimum. If I start tapping the increase, it's going to start adding look at that more and more and more sides to the point that I can't see them getting added anymore. And probably, you know, a few dozen sides, but I could keep tapping this until it gets to all the way to 999. That's a lot of taps, even if we sped it up. So I'm not going to go into that, but that will give you control over after you've drawn it, how many sides you want in there. Um, the other option, of course, is always to select a circle and go to entity info. And there again, you can type in an exact number of segments or change the radius. This can be done if nothing else has happened to change the curve of that circle. So if I use something like push pull or I draw a line across it and break the arc, 
uh, then I can't change this information. But if the circle's just the circle still, you have the ability to go in and modify segments and the radius. And that's most of what I could think of with circles on SketchUp for iPad. Um, they work very similar to SketchUp Pro, but obviously the input method with the different tools is a little bit different. And if you are moving from SketchUp Pro, inferencing first, as opposed to, you know, after you've got your mouse out there, uh, something to get used to. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here, and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, more than anything else, please leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think of what we're doing. What do you think of SketchUp for iPad? Have you tried drawing circles on it? How does it compare to Pro? We like making these videos a lot. Like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.